Santee Cooper, meeting the growing energy needs of the 21st century while protecting the environment and natural heritage of South Carolina through its innovative Santee Cooper Green programs. Santee Cooper Green presents Living Green. Thinking about getting a new refrigerator? Well, if you're a customer of Santee Cooper, they may be able to help you out in a big way. Stay tuned for details. Currently, wind energy holds great promise for being a leading source of renewable energy here in South Carolina. In fact, research going on right now by Santee Cooper, Coastal Carolina University, and the state's energy office places South Carolina among the leaders nationally in the arena of offshore wind research. Mark Ty, Vice President of Conservation and Renewable Energy, brings us up to date on the Palmetto Wind Research Project. If, if there's enough wind offshore, then we're hoping that it will be cost effective to put the, a, a wind farm off the coast of South Carolina and then bring that power on shore. But the original goal was to really get buoys out there and determine how much wind truly is off the coast of South Carolina and then hopefully put up a large anemometer tower somewhere based on what the buoy data shows us to where the winds are the best for offshore wind development and basically take readings actually at the height to where a turbine would be situated. Somewhere in the 240, 280 foot range, then we'll have to make the decision, is it cost effective for us to put a wind farm in that location or not? And if it is, then we'll start plans to do that. But that's probably a couple years off. And we talk about a wind farm, that would be multiple wind turbines into a farm. We're looking at somewhere in the 350 to 500 million dollar range for those uh, 80 megawatts, which is a pretty substantial cost. And with that, come a lot of risk. We have to avoid shipping lanes, we have to avoid bird patterns. There are lots of, of environmental studies that will be done before any of this goes through the permitting stage. To me, the key is whether it's cost effective or not for our customers. If there's enough wind, we think it will be cost effective. The awareness is a big, big part of this. You know, people think about wind power, they think about wind farms. To some people, it scares them. To, to others, they look at it as a great thing. It's probably somewhere in the middle. Like I said, it's, it's not going to save everything, but it's going to be a piece of the puzzle. And you know, as we move through this, though, we welcome everybody's comments because without them, you know, we don't know which way to go. But as, as we get people's comments either for it or against it, it'll let us know what people are really thinking and what the obstacles are because there are obstacles, there are challenges, but there are also opportunities. And we got to look at all those to, to ultimately make that decision. If you look at what we've been doing with our Green Power Program, since 2001, we've really been diversifying our generation. We've done it with landfill gas. We got some solar demonstration projects scattered around the state. And this is the next phase. I mean, from our standpoint, it's a mixture of everything. It's not just wind, it's not just solar, it's not just landfill gas, it's not just coal, it's not just nuclear. It, you know, Sandy Cooper's view is it's gonna be a combination of all those resources to, to give us a sustainable electricity in the future. Reduce the use, South Carolina. Under the Refrigerator Rebate Initiative, businesses and homeowners who turn in an older working refrigerator for a new ENERGY STAR energy efficient model will receive a $75 rebate and will, of course, begin to save on their monthly electric bill. Santee Cooper wants customers to rethink the way they use electricity in their homes on an everyday basis. And then also reduce, once you've discovered how your appliances consume electricity, start reducing one step at a time, one appliance at a time, and then renew old energy hungry appliances like refrigerators, for example. To qualify for the rebate, you must select an Energy Star refrigerator. And of course, they all have the label on them, so it's easy to tell the difference. It's important when you select your refrigerator to look at the Energy Star tag to see exactly what savings you can expect. And of course, with our rebate, you'll get additional cash in your pocket. When your old refrigerator is picked up, it's recycled. And of course, all of this is free for the customer. CFLs use up to 75% less energy and last up to 10 times longer than incandescent bulbs. Business customers interested in receiving free CFL bulbs just need to contact Santee Cooper. To learn energy saving tips and to get more information on energy efficient initiatives and rebates, visit reducetheuse.com. Living Green from Santee Cooper Green.